so affirm. You see, my journey to get to this stage in my life has not been easy. Not been easy at all. See, my search for my physical cure actually led me to the real cure that I really needed, a spiritual cure. God healed me spiritually first. And then he gave me the wisdom to take care of my physical health and then my mental health. This leads me to share with you how important our spiritual diet really is. And this is something that I, I, I have to tell you because um, this is what had changed me and helped me along. Our spiritual health is equally as important as our physical health. I mean, it's similar to your physical body, right? If you don't exercise, if you don't eat nutritious food, what happens? You start getting flabby, right? Or you start getting fat, or you start getting weak, and eventually you're going to get sick, right? Well, you know, our spiritual health is like the same. If you don't spend the quality time in praying, reading God's word, and taking care of your spiritual needs, you're going to get sick too. Well, you're going to think, well, Helen, you know, I read the Bible every day, I mean X amount of chapters, and I pray for a very long time. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to warn you and tell you that I went through the same thing, but my heart's motive was not in the right place. And there's a difference. Because you see, if your heart is not in the right place, it's like eating junk food. You just want to stuff yourself. Just for, this, just for the time being. It'll do. That's fine. You're not getting any nutrition out of it. It's like rushing and grabbing something to eat just to satisfy our appetites. It may be junk food, but it'll do. So have you ever noticed the difference in eating at a fast food restaurant? I'm sure we all go to eat a lot of fast food restaurants. Admit it. And eating at a nice gourmet restaurant. No difference. Can you, can you visualize that? Or visualize this. See, reading and getting the most of the Bible is like sitting and eating at a nice gourmet restaurant, eating a juicy filet mignon steak, savoring each bite. So it may not be a lot of quantity that we're having, but we're having the best quality. And that's what it's about. It's the quality time with God. And that is important. See, God does not want us to rush in and out through communicating with Him in prayers and reading the Bible as if He was a drive through counter. I mean, we need to experience His presence and the love He has to offer to us intimately. This is similar to our earthly relationships. It's not about the quantity of time that we have with each other. If it's all rushed. I mean, it's in the quality time that we take time to spend with getting to know each other. Do you agree? This is also part of living the authentic life. Being honest and spending good quality time with the relationship that you cherish. Living daily with the right product proper motives of the heart.